Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Just briskly walking up to the bit of pasture I'm going to do today. 7 kilohertz again. And if I remember, I'll swap frequencies to show you what things sound like at different frequencies and if it really makes any difference at all. Um, yeah, I'll see you on the first hole. Right, I've just had this out. I've seen it already. I think it's a farthing, but I wanted to show you the the signal on seven kilohertz. So it's giving me an eighty-one. Good line. Let me just change the kilohertz up to seventeen, which is what I used to use on this field. No, hang on, that's twenty-five. Let's see if it sounds any different. A bit higher. Still eighty-one. So it's just that higher frequency is making the sound a bit higher yeah i don't know if that's any use to you let's uh, get this coin and see what it is anyway looks about the size of a farthing get you in the light pretty battered very battered Right, I think it's a farthing, but I'll clean it, I'll show you a picture, but um, yeah, we'll do a few more of those, see what difference it makes. Right, off we pop. Right, I've got this uh, signal here. Don't sound very good, actually. That's better. 92, level line, a very small line. So it's something small. Let me just change the frequency up to 17 again, which is the one I mostly use. Don't sound much different, maybe a bit higher. Let's put it back down to seven. Right, let's find out what it is, because I've no idea. Hopefully something good. Whatever it is, it's here. No, not something good. Something cack. Bit of old lead. Oh well, let's carry on. Alright, so I've got this signal here. I've just dug out the plug. But it's still in there. It's giving me a 91. You can hear that tone. Let me just change it up to 17. See what that sounds like. Yeah, similar, it's giving me a similar line, giving me 90, so similar again. Right, let's get it out and see what it is. I'm not that hopeful, to be honest. Uh, what's this? Ooh. It's lead. Is it a bag seal? What's on the other side? More writing. 18, 1812 I think that says. 1820 as well underneath. That looks like a bag seal but it's pretty old. A bit of writing on the back there, that could be Russian. So it could be like a flax seal. I know we imported a lot of flax around that time from Russia. Oh, that's pretty cool. I've missed that before. Yeah, I'm alright. That's alright. I'm happy with that. Alright, let's carry on. Just add this up. It was a tiny signal. I don't know what it is. Is it a buckle? I'm not sure. Hang on. I'll give it a brush up. I don't know if you can see it, it's really small. Oh, it's so small I keep dropping it. 
it looks like there's a pattern around the, the edges I think yeah I'm gonna guess it's some sort of buckle probably not very old either all right let's carry on right we'll see what this is in a minute but I just wanted to show you the signals again it's giving me 87 XY screen's a bit squiggly actually. Let me just take it up to 17 kilohertz. Sounds a bit better. Mm. It's not a great signal, but I want to see what it is because when you go around the hole, it kind of disappears a bit, but I can't tell you how many times on this field I've had um, like a one-way signal and it's been something decent. So let's find out what it is, hang on. Right, it was just a bit of crap. I wasted loads of time looking for that as well. Ah, well, that's the way it goes, isn't it? I'm on, um, I'm on a bit of the field that's a hot spot, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed. All right, we're going to try another one. That's giving me 90. XY screen's quite straight. Let's change to 17 again. See what that sounds like. Bit higher. XY screen's pretty much the same. Right. Let's get a pinpoint around and see what it is. I'll do one of these one day and sort of it'll be something good. One day. Probably not today. Oh falling out. Oh, it's just a bit of crap. Uh. Right, I'll show you this one. I've, I've got it out of the hole already, so I know what it is. It's a it's a button, it's a military button, but um, it looks like it's got an interesting design on it, so let me show you. Really low. In fact, if I turn that over and have the shank facing down, that might change the signal. It does a bit. It's giving me like 50, 44. Let me change the frequency up to 17. 54. It isn't making that much difference. I don't think. Right, let me show you what it is anyway. To get you in the light, I think. Oh, this ground is rock hard. Right. Can you see that? It's got something around the side, some writing. A funny little thing there, I don't know what that is. Yeah. It's not military, I don't think. It's got like a little a bow on it, and I don't think any regiment would want a little uh, pretty bow on their, on their buttons. So it's, uh, that's gonna need a bit of research. I'll try and find out what that is. But it's better than the, I've just been digging up little bits of crap to be honest. Right, off we pop. Just add this up. I think that is silver. And I think it's what was a ring at some point. You can see that bit there may have had stones in. Same on the other side. I'll, I'll, when I get that home, I'll look for some hallmarks, but that. That seems like silver, but I'm really not sure. I'll look into that. I'll show you a picture. If I find any hallmarks, I'll let you know. It took me a while to find that. It's a tiny little bag seal with the letter A on, and on the other side. Righty ho, not brilliant, but at least I'm finding stuff that I've missed before. Which is something. This grass is getting a bit long now, so I'm trying to do as much of this field as possible before um, before it's too long. Right, let's carry on. Just a little half penny of George V. That was a good signal. Any frequency would have picked that up, I reckon. But uh, looks a bit bad. And it's not really what we're after, but it's better than nothing. Uh, what's the date there? 1927. Yeah, half penny. Right, let's crack on. It's another one of them GPO bag seals. Terrible signal. Yeah. 
think it's got something written on the top there, hang on. See where it's from. I can't read that. Oh, Hudders. So that's from Huddersfield, that one. Yeah. Any numbers? Not that I know what they mean anyway. Nope. So these go on the um, uh, post office bags, probably on freight trains and stuff. Not sure how old they are, but I'll find a few of them up here. All right, let's carry on. All right, let's compare signals. Um, let's compare frequencies with this one. So it's a fairly definite signal. Give me 94, 95. A little XY line, because I think it's quite deep. Let's try upping it up to 17 kilohertz. See what that does. It's made it a higher sound, but I think it's a slightly quieter. Slightly, not much difference. All right, let's find out what this one is. Just a lot of lead, I think. Yeah, nothing exciting. Nothing even vaguely exciting. In fact, it's rubbish. But it can go in my lead bin. Right, let's carry on. Picking these blinking things out today. Another GPO bag still. Don't know what it says on it. Hang on. Give it a little rub. That one says Castle. So that's going to be from Castleford. There you go. Or if you're from around here, which I'm not, Castleford. Because they don't pronounce things properly in Yorkshire. Yeah, that'll get me in trouble. Never mind. Let's carry on. Right. This is the second day. We've been going for quite a while. I haven't found anything, have we? It's been rubbish. But this was um, oh, this was a dodgy signal. I think it's about an 84. Uh, really low tones. I thought it might be a badge at best, but I think I've just seen an edge. I think it's it looks silver but you can see it there hopefully it is if it's not then i'm gonna cry let's get it out yeah that is a silver coin that really surprises me the tone of that is rubbish Yep, little uh, sixpence, George V, I think it says 1920, there he is, Georgia boy. Right, pretty pleased with that because this field has been done quite a lot, so I'm happy with anything that I've missed, and if it's a bit of silver, it makes me smile a little bit. So this was a terrible signal and it's to add my, to my collection of GPO bag seals and this one says Scarborough. I'm going to have a collection of bag seals from northern cities. Right, let's carry on. Right, so I think this is going to be the last signal of the day. It's a little buckle. It's not old. It'll be like 30s or something. It moves around, but... So, that's two days hunting. A couple of hours, no, about four or five hours. A couple of silvers again, so that's not too bad. Um, in the second half of the video, I couldn't be bothered to compare 7 kilohertz with 17 kilohertz. Sorry. Um, I might do that again another day with different frequencies just to see what the difference is between them. But if you're out, good luck.
I'll catch you later.